And welcome to CCTV America's week-long look at alternative energy. This week, we're going to be exploring the emerging technologies that proponents say are the key to our global energy future. We start with wind energy, which is the fastest growing source of electricity in the world. According to the Wind Energy Foundation and U.S. government statistics, wind accounted for about 43 percent of new U.S. electric generation capacity in 2012. That same year, the wind industry generated some $25 billion worth of new investment, and that may be just the beginning. According to studies cited by the Wind Energy Foundation, there is enough wind sweeping through the U.S. to power the domestic economy 10 times over. Over the last decade, Texas has taken the lead in wind power production and is now looking at offshore wind development. We've got CCTV's Ginger Vaughn in Houston for us tonight with the latest in wind development back in Texas. How are you doing tonight? Thanks, Jessica. There's no doubt about it. Texas is thriving from its booming oil and gas market, but wind development is also huge here in West Texas and offshore in the Gulf. Currently, wind power generates just 3% of U.S. energy needs, while Europe gets about 7% of its electricity from wind. But Things are changing. The U.S. is catching up. By 2015, Texas is slated to double its wind power capacity. 1,700 megawatt capacity doubled using the offshore wind turbines, which would be enough to generate energy for about 650,000 homes. Corpus Christi along the Texas Gulf Coast was not so long ago a sleepy beach town, but its port is now among the busiest in the country, transporting components for the growing energy industry. But it's not just the oil and gas markets Texas is feeding. The state has been a leader in wind energy, producing more than 12 percent of the state's electricity since 2010 from more than 2,000 turbines in western rural Texas. Thousands of turbines on vast prairies like this one is what makes Texas the biggest producer of wind power. But now developers are looking offshore to take advantage of steady Gulf breezes that are likely to bring a new wave of renewable energy. Wind turbines can cost millions of dollars depending on output, and these larger ones take nine months to manufacture. Maggie Turner, who manages the port of Corpus Christi, says continued tax credits for wind turbine projects mean big orders from firms eyeing development on and offshore. And we're expecting a full year in 2014 and beyond 2015 with our port just loaded with wind components, and that goes. Uh, the nacelles, the hubs, the tower sections, the blades, uh, the nose cones, all of them are coming. There are over 5,000 uh, megawatts of projects under development currently, and uh, I mean just 1,100 of those megawatt projects were developed in the third quarter of this year. 5,000 megawatts is enough energy to power at least 1.2 million homes in America for a year, according to wind developer Trade Wind Energy. It's staying here. It's coming to Texas and, and going up the wind corridor of the United States. This goes all the way up through other states. And uh, it's, it's going to continue to be a, a great industry for our port and for the nation. Wind corridor states like Texas, Kansas, and Oklahoma are seeing winds of change as international and domestic developers are putting their bets on steady Gulf Shore winds and offshore turbines. The bulk of coastal turbines in Texas have been built on land within 80 kilometers of the shore along the southern tip of the state near Corpus Christi. The port is busy with increased shipments of wind turbine components as developers around the world push for more wind power, says Port Director Maggie Turner. We have been promoting ourselves highly with regards to offshore as well as for onshore wind, and uh, we hope to make a difference sometime uh, in the future when offshore wind comes to the Gulf of Mexico. Austin-based Baryonyx Corporation plans to install three six-megawatt direct-drive wind turbines in state waters by 2017. But they're not the only ones eyeing the power of Gulf winds. Other firms, including German utility giant E.ON and Spain's biggest utility, Iberdrola Renewables, also have plans to add to their existing seaside wind farms in the state. Senior scientist at the Clemson University Restoration Institute Nicholas Rigas says the continued improvements in turbines will put them in even higher demand. 
10, 15 years ago, the cost of the electricity coming out of wind power was over 20 cents a kilowatt hour. Now they're generating it at five cents a kilowatt hour. And new technology, new innovations, new ways to make it more efficient, to make it more reliable, to integrate them better into the grid, to um, capture more wind. And therefore you can put them in places people never even thought they could generate wind power. While the Gulf only has a few current projects underway, experts say that this will soon change and they will resemble offshore wind farms like those in Europe. Back to you, Jessica. Ginger Vaughn, thanks for that report from Houston, Texas tonight.